how to analyze Likert scale using Smart PLS super fast. In case you want to do regression or multiple regression, it's better to use Smart PLS. So we have the data imported here. We can just uh, start taking the variables and moving them by clicking Control, like the IV first here drag and drop click or enter and it will be moved you can adjust the alignment to the left for instance and then we can put the dv the dv i wish that there is this control shift uh, functionality that will select everything at once so here i will move the the dv back here click enter and then i can use this adjustment like i can just drag cursor by left click uh, so that I can adjust the two variables. I can draw just so here I did not select, you can go to connect and draw this line in case you have regression model of IV DV. In case you have a mediator, what we can do is that we can move the mediator variable here, like we can move them below for instance and click enter and I can take another line connected with this so here how it will look like then I can even have a moderator if I wish in that case I will include the W that is moderator for instance and I move it here let's say so how I can connect this Simply, I can connect them by, like the moderator, I can just connect it like this. So I can just draw a line to the dependent variable and a moderating effect. And then I can draw a line here. And then I can calculate bootstrapping. And I choose this bootstrapping subsamples at 5000. Uh, do parallel pro processing, keep everything as it is, start calculation and this will take some time to be calculated depending on the number of the bootstrap sample and here are the results as you can see we can have the t value, the r square, the p value etc. So these are the uh, coefficients I can display the different coefficients even the Cronbach alpha so here, here are the PAT coefficients and these are the statistically significant uh, let's say uh, influences of the IV on DV, the IV on mediator, the mediator on DV and the moderator on the DV the interaction term of the moderator and IV on the DV seems to be not statistically significant and these are the coefficients like if they are positive or negative this means that there is negative or positive impact. So we have, this is like the main table. We have the inner model, the outer model. We have the path coefficient histogram. We have different, uh, let's say values, as you can see, like the outer model or measurement model, etc. The graphical output. So we have different ways to uh, display and portray the results.